Gratz. I'm the author of Prisoner B3087, Code of Honor, and the League of Seven trilogy. Um, so I thought I would start with a, a tour of my office where I write my books. So um, over here is my desk where I write my books. Uh, I love to write by longhand out with a pen, but it takes a long time. So I end up writing my books on the computer when I'm actually writing the words and sentences and paragraphs that make the book. I have two screens because I like to write on one of the screens and have my outline up on the other screen here on the computer. So I have an outline here and I write here. And while I'm writing, I'm trying sometimes to try and figure out what I'm going to be writing about. And I stop and I look up and, I, and I'm thinking. And so I've got windows where I can see out into the yard, which is really pretty. But I also have a lot of toys around kind of as a distraction. Things I've collected over the years, both as a kid and as an adult. Um, I've got toys up here that I got when I was in Japan. I got to visit Japan because of Samurai Shortstop, which was awesome. Um, my daughter drew me a picture when she was little for Father's Day of Batman because she knows I'm a comic book fan. So I've got that up there. Um, I've got more toys and, and things I've collected in other places on the walls. But this second desk is where I build all of the books that I'm about to write. Um, I do use longhand for those. I use a pencil and an eraser for those. And I'm working on building the story on note cards over here at this desk. And then when I'm done with those note cards, I take them over to a big board that I have over here. This is where I outline all of my books. And this is one book that I'm working on right now. It's a new, brand new book. And you can see that some of the cards have writing on them. And some of the cards are blank. That's because I haven't figured out what happens in those places in the story. Each of these cards is a chapter. And when I know what happens in a chapter, I pin that up. And when I don't know, I have a blank card. And I'm going to replace all those blank cards eventually with parts of the story. Once I have all the story built up here on my big board, then I take it back over to my computer, and that's when I type up my outline that I can have on that second screen. But this is where I do all of my book building, which is the part of the process I'm in right now. Um, the rest of the stuff in my office is stuff that either means something to me or is useful to me. So I have all of the books that I've ever published here in all their different formats. On one shelf, there's Lando Calrissian standing guard over them. I have a bunch of books down here that are by other authors because I'm a part of a, a contest. I'm reading for a contest to see who's going to win an award. Um, this shelf is all books that I'm using for research on current projects. And all the shelves below them, those books are books that I've bought or read for, research, uh, for craft research, like how to write. So they're books about writing that I've collected and, and still read trying to become a better writer. Um, the other stuff, I have a lot of toys on my, my shelves. Um, I, I love comic book stuff, like I said, so I have my Avengers collection here. Um, I've got a, a Gundam guy that I picked up in Japan. These typewriters that are on the top shelf uh, are not just typewriters that I've collected, but they're, they're things that my family owned. The old, these two typewriters are my, belong to my grandfather, and this one belonged to my grandmother. And I've got a ukulele I built and my teddy bears from when I was a kid. Uh, my family and I are really into costumes and to entering them into contests, and so we've met these really giant costumes, and I've put the heads of some of them up here on top of my outline board just for fun. So I've got Brack and Zorak from Space Ghost and Aku from Samurai Jack, and my daughter uh, recently made a, herself a Lady Doctor Who costume, and so I built a remote control steampunk canine to follow her around at conventions, and so I put him up there because I thought he was pretty awesome. Um, so that's kind of a, a, a crash course on me and where I write my books and, and where, I, uh, where I put them all together. I hope this was an interesting and fun way to get to know me and to see where I work. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks a lot. And to all of you book lovers watching at home, I have to thank you for joining us tonight. We have an amazing lineup of children's authors, and you don't want to miss one. Furthermore, for those of you local to the Gaithersburg area, you have to be sure to check out the four GBF Story Walks, which are installed all around the city. Go to GaithersburgBookFestival.org and look over the author presentation schedule and Story Walk locations so you can plan the rest of your festival month. Have a great evening, all, and remember, keep reading and keep writing.